Hey, what's up, everybody? J Ho here, and today we're gonna go over my initial thoughts from watching the Call of Duty DMZ reveal. Um, we'll go over a few items. Some I'm gonna make individual videos about that you'll see, but we'll briefly touch on here, um, and then we'll kind of go a little bit more in depth on on those. But we'll, we'll we'll brush over a little bit of everything. Quick overview. Let you know my initial thoughts. I wanted to give it a day to see if there was anything that I was missing uh, from just watching what I saw, see if there was anything else. Uh, but I can't find anything else online that I've really missed. So I'm assuming that pretty much all the info I have is pretty much all we're going to get, unless there happens to be more leaks. So let's go ahead, hop into it. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. So then that way you can stay up to date on new news, new gameplay footage, uh, and such, and make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps out a ton. So, okay, first let's go ahead. We'll talk about the gameplay loop that I saw. So it did look like there was a ton of missions to do. Uh, you have contracts and stuff that you can do inside of the game that you can pick up that can be you know, done inside of each raid. Um, and then those will give you just a cash reward, it looks like. Looks like there is quests. Uh, quests can give you weapons, blueprints, um, you know, cash, of course. Everything seems to always come back to cash on here. Uh, the biggest question is how in-depth are these actually going to go? Um, are they going to keep adding them every season, mid-season? Is just going to keep adding on, um, which I assume they would, uh, you know, because there there's just a ton there. Now, as far as the AI, um, I believe this is a pretty touchy subject for a lot of people. And when I was looking at the AI, there was a few times that I'm like, this AI is super AI. Like I feel like I'm playing Fortnite AI bots, or you know, uh, you know spec ops ai is just bad um but at the same time there was other ones that seemed really really difficult and overpowered and they could just absolutely just crap on you uh, i think the variation is okay um to have just because of the simple fact that way you are respecting the the crappy ai just like you would the regular ai and you know give you a little bit of respect for them whereas not so much of the chance of actually dying to them uh which is okay i mean that's that's all right um one thing i was thinking as well this is in a closed test with less players um i believe that they said this is going to be a 64 player map but they only had 32 player lobbies in here so i'm wondering if they didn't maybe turn up the ai uh the the worst type of ai a little bit uh to compensate for that i'm hoping you know maybe that's what they did and to compensate for less players we'll see next we'll go over uh what is missing that we had leaked and uh some thoughts on what can be added in the future big thing here we pretty much saw everything that was leaked was true we're missing one thing we are missing the bazaar we are missing the marketplace that was said to have been a real thing that was leaked it is not here so uh I, I, I wonder if they just haven't revealed it yet. I wonder if there's more to it because what's the point of having, you know, a marketplace in a 32 person uh, lobby? You know, you're, you're not really getting in depth. Maybe they don't want to reveal that yet. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. Um, there is no sign of cash outside of the raid. It looked like you could just grab items, grab guns. I feel like this is another sign that they left things out because you're clearly getting cash from doing missions, you're clearly getting cash from doing things um, and you're not having a cash stash outside. There's something missing. There's definitely more to it, I do believe. Um, currently, items, literally, you just sell them for cash. You might have a you know a, a quest that you need to turn it in for something. Um, that's the extent of lootable items currently. Hopefully they add more, they add crafting. We saw crafting in the campaign. That'd be really cool if they added some stuff like that in here. Hopeful. Obviously, that'll be really cool. Um, potential, uh, you know, there's there's a lot of potential for more with the items uh, that we can definitely do. So let's go ahead. We'll wrap up the video here. My final final thoughts. Will I be playing it? Uh, and should you play it? So yeah, yeah, I, I I think you should play it. I'm going to be playing it a ton. I'm going to give it a solid run through. It looks like there's a ton of content to keep me busy for a while. Um, and to really learn the in and outs of it. Uh, now, as far as 
a lot of people kind of dogging on it saying, you know, it's just Warzone with AI and quests. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a Spec Ops Warzone. I could see that, but it's Call of Duty. Uh, you know, they wanted to put their twist on it. Um, it's definitely a little bit more arcadey than, you know, you might see with, uh, than you might see with, uh, you know, a Tarkov type of game, uh, the cycle type of thing. Um, you know, you look at the map and the map literally looks like Grand Theft Auto with all of the icons. I get that. Um, but I think overall, I think they did a pretty good job. I still think that there's a lot more they can do and they can add to it. Uh, a lot more of in-depth items. Um, you know, I'd love to see in the future a health system. Um, I think that could really take this game mode to a whole new level. Uh, a health system, even if they just went to literally what they had in Blackout and they just put it in this game mode, I think that would just elevate this. Now, you know, that, that could be something that we see in the future. Could not be. We'll see. Um, but... I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you go ahead and you check out DMZ. You have fun with it like I'm going to. Uh, but other than that, guys, I'm going to get out of here. We'll catch you next time. Most importantly, have a good day and uh, later.